magia que se ve se falta en el ambiente. Never seen anything like that. It's the joy of the atmosphere, also the color and the glass. Contar con un trato palau. Aprovechar una matina o la que hay en el palau. Es una una experiencia mística. building convey feelings or stir up emotions. The stones of the Palau are alive. They are the result of a unique moment, of the tenacity of a group of people united by their love of music and of their country. Since 1908, these stones have seen the best artists of the 20th century. And in the 21st century, the most prestigious orchestras, directors and soloists keep performing on the same stage. At the present time, it is a concert hall able to organize more than 300 concerts per year, and all music is welcome. Like it's not really every day like this. Like it, it's just done for you. To understand how such a building could be made more than a hundred years ago, we have to go outside and see Barcelona in the early 20th century. It was a melting pot where the most vanguard artists were living. The modernism movement connected with the national affirmation and progress. In 1891, the Orfeo Catalá was born. It was an institution that gave a new dimension to popular choirs. Its founders, Amadeo Vives and Luis Millet, soon made it possible for the Orfeo to become the promoter of important cultural projects involving music. It quickly became a mass phenomenon. It was fed by music lovers from different social origins and trained them as singers able to go beyond popular songs and perform polyphonic and symphonic compositions. The choir organized music festivals. It did musical research and created a musical magazine. But furthermore, it quickly went beyond the musical scene and became a cultural and political reference to Catalan nationalism.
The Orfeo Catala grew up as did Barcelona, the new Eixample cohabited with the narrow streets of the Gothic Quarter. In this densely inhabited area, the Orfeo bought a state next to a church. The strength of the Orfeo was shown when, thanks to public donations, it managed to ask one of the most prestigious architects at that time, Luis Dominique Mundenay, for the construction of the building. Because of the location of the concert hall, it barely had any natural light, but with an outstanding use of materials and groundbreaking structural resources, the architect was able to create a hall that is perceived as a box of light. The glowworm is the sun, which sheds light on a hall with overwhelming fantasy, but at the same time is simple and harmonious. For high frequency, for the violins, for the flautas, it's high glass is very good. Todos lo han una gran lluança de la acústica, però tots, des de directors d'orquestra, solistes, cantants. The architect didn't let any details escape him. He drew all the sculptures himself. He had the best craftsmen under his orders, who gave shape to the Palau's values, the cohabitation of the universal and local music. Montenay also created muses to inspire the musicians. They are goddesses from all over the world. Their hairstyles and their instruments are as diverse as the musics of the world. It's so full of uh, sculptures and faces, you know, the, 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 all the, the, the statues behind uh, on stage. You know, I just kept looking at it. I think the first two times when I was on stage and when there was a beautiful light on the sculptures behind me, I just kept like turning around and you know enjoying the spirit of it myself. Outside, as if they were on the prow of a ship, the people look to the future under their leader, St. George, Catalonia's patron saint. Local and universal musicians escort them. With the composition of columns and arches, the combination of glass, bricks, and pottery mosaics, Dominique Montenay was capable of transforming a space with no perspective into a porous facade, an invitation to come in. Indoors, following the modernist passion for nature, we can see a combination of columns with flower motifs, stained glass, bricks and mosaics, which create a fantastic atmosphere, a garden with no night.
Since the 80s, the Palau has been refurbished and extended, and now we can see its original facade. In 1997, it was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, and now has new facilities which makes it a world-class concert hall. Furthermore, the Cor de Cambra del Palau, created in 1990, has become one of the lead choirs in the country and all over the world. El Cor de Cambra and the choirs of the Orfeo Catalá, with its choir school, make the Palau an institution that goes beyond the concert hall. The Palau has always been a private property that, thanks to the help of public administrations, faces the future as a vanguard and cosmopolitan space devoted to culture and social events. All of this so as to achieve the same goal that motivated the sponsors of the Palau more than a hundred years ago, a place to move you.